Hello, my name is Sarah Carr and I work at the Surrey County Health and Nutrition Center. I have Dr. Steve Samandel here with us today. He is our Environmental Health Department Director. Um, and Steve, today I'd like to ask you about a slightly controversial topic tattoos. So I know that you have something to do with the tattoo process inspection, um, but you know, um, a lot of businesses and companies are becoming more lenient with allowing tattoos to show. And so maybe people would be interested in getting one. Maybe that's a new experience for them that they want to try. Um, so can you tell us just very basic, why does your department permit tattoos or tattoo artists? Very good question. Uh, tattooing itself hasn't really changed from way back when tattoos were done. Basically, it's the insertion of a dye or ink into the skin. Mm -hmm. I think the state definition is the insertion of permanent ink or coloration or the production of scars upon or underneath the skin through puncturing by the use of a needle or any other instrument. When you do that, uh, that can cause a great range of infections. So the state decided that we should inspect those uh, tattoo artists and make sure that they're using clean equipment, clean needles in a clean environment so we can minimize uh, those infections. Each artist is permitted and you can and should always ask to see their permit. Um, so you are permitting only the artist, is that correct, just so we're clear? Not necessarily. That gets involved a little bit. Okay. Uh, the permit that they have is tied to the studio that they work in. For example, if you had one artist that worked out of two studios, that artist would have two different permits. Okay. By the same token, if you go into one studio that has three different artists, each artist will have their own permit. I think currently in Surrey County right now we have 14 different studios and 23 different permitted artists. So if I were to ask to see a permit, I would be looking for the name and the place name on that. Is that correct? And Correct. It's tied to the artist, specifically to the location that okay. they're in. Can you tell us a little bit about permanent makeup? I know that has been a very popular trend lately and, um, you know, microblading or um, permanent eyeliner. Can you tell us about that? Does that still count as tattoos? It does. Uh, under North Carolina law, permanent makeup, microblading are considered tattooing. Mm -hmm. And they go through the, those artists go through the same process to be permitted and inspected just like a regular tattoo artist. So they will um, have the same procedures as, and permitting and they'll be able, will be able to find their permits. Correct. Okay. They should be able to produce those. Okay. Um, also, North Carolina law says that anyone under the age of 18 cannot receive a tattoo. Can parents waive that or um, for permanent makeup reasons or an actual tattoo? No. Okay. No, that restriction cannot be waived. You must be 18 years or older to get a tattoo in the state of North Carolina, and that does include permanent makeup or microblading. Each artist is required to keep records and verify the age of their patrons, and anyone who does not is suspect. We have had instances of illegal tattooing, and that's not just a health department concern. That's illegal, and that's a police matter, and we take those complaints very seriously. That's good to know. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about checking on a permit? Would there be a way to check before I walk into the tattoo studio? Sure. Uh, if you go to the app, you can click on environmental health and search up public health sanitation inspections. And you can search by the studio uh, and it will list each artist's last inspection. Or you can search the artist by name and those uh, in last inspections should come up that way. Great. Um, and a little bit more about the app. If you're interested in downloading it, um, go to the App Store on either Apple or Android and search Surrey Co. Health and Nutrition. And it should pop up with this logo behind us so you know you've got the right one. Um, and then, you know, follow the steps that Steve was talking about to see those inspections. So that's great. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Just if you don't have access to the internet or you'd rather speak with someone, uh, John Watts is our main tattoo inspector. Uh, he can be reached uh, by phone at 336-401-8325 
or if you just have general questions and you'd like to speak with someone, please call that number and we'll be happy to talk with you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.